It's Friday night at Creature Features, and Tangela is irritating me with her toys. But you're here, and that is not irritating to me in the least bit, because they're our friends. Unlike Livingston and Andrew, who, who go out on Friday nights, and they leave us home to watch silly movies. But tonight, we've got a movie that's not so silly. It's called Alien from L.A. I wonder why they did not simply say Los Angeles. I mean... L.A. could be the abbreviation for Louisiana. It could be alien from law. It could be a Spanish city called law. I don't know. Anyways, 1988 starts Kathy Ireland, William Moses, Richard Haynes, and Don Michael Paul. Have you ever heard of him? You know, I never trust a man with three first names. It's just never right. Anyways, Kathy Ireland, she's a wonderful Young lady. Well, I, I suppose she's not so young anymore, but neither am I. Anyways, I did lunch with her one time. Yes, I had lunch with Kathy Island. Very nice lady. And uh, she, uh, she did this film, and they made her do a voice which was not her own. She was, she was directed to do a higher pitch, weirder baby voice. So the voice you hear coming out of Kathy Ireland's mouth is not hers, nor is it uh, what she preferred, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and get this film started, and we'll check back with you halfway through. And uh, if you don't mind the interruption, you'll have a chance to go use the loo as well. So there's that. See you soon. Here comes Alien from L.A. with you over your answering machine. I just want to know why he broke up. He doesn't like you. Thanks, Stacy. You should have gone blonder. He's here! Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. My message, right? Yeah, I did, Robbie. I just wanted to. Wanted to what? Or ask me about breaking up? No, I just want to know why. What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong, Wanda. I thought you really liked me. You said I was special, so naturally I want to know why. Wanda, I never want to go anywhere. I do so. I know. Two blocks to the beach. You didn't want to go on the camping trip to the Grand Canyon, or rock climbing in Yosemite, or to the 4th of July party in Ensenada. I get car sick. I told you I'd fly you there. I'm scared of flying, you know that. You're scared of everything. Okay. What else is wrong with me? Look, what's the point? You obviously have a serious problem, and we've wasted the whole summer because of it. There's only two weeks left in August, and I want to salvage something, all right? Robbie, please! Let's talk about it! I can change! I want to change! Just tell me what you don't like about me! You won't change, Wanda. Please, Robbie! Give me a chance! What don't you like about me, and I'll change! All right, your glasses make you look stupid, your hair's ugly, you dress like a nerd, you walk like a clod, and your voice gives me a headache. Is that enough? told me this before, huh? Why'd you even go out with me in the first place if I'm such a geek? Look, Wanda, I'm really sorry I hurt you. I didn't mean to. But you are who you are, and we're just not right for each other. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, 
rejection is really getting to me. I mean, it seems ever since I was a kid I've been rejected. Hey! Even my own dad, he left me. He's an explorer, Wanda. It's his job to travel and not be home. For ten years? Well, so he's been real busy. And what about my mom? She's left. She got hit by a car and died, Wanda. She didn't have a choice. Sorry. Oh, you're right. She didn't have a choice. But my dad did. Where's Wanda? No one wants me. For anything. I want you, honey. I want you to get your butt out of this car and come give me a hand. I'm dying here.
Wanda Sack Newsom? Ew. I can't believe it. I bet it's my brother-in-law. You're Wanda Sack Newsom? I'm on the counter and tell her to get a butt out here. I need those four shades. I ordered a cheeseburger. I ordered a cheeseburger. Three burgers. Oh, oh excuse me. Wanda Sack Newsom? Uh, yeah. I'm Wanda Sack Newsom. Special delivery from Africa. Would you like to sign here, please? There we go. Right. That's great. Thanks very much. Right. somewhere in Zamboanga, North Africa. Mr. Mahoney wants me to come see him. He even sent a plane ticket. Why? I guess Dad's made a will he wants me to deal with. You're not gonna go, are you, honey? But I should probably go, Annie Pearl. I mean, Mr. Mahoney thinks it's important enough to send me a plane ticket. And I would like to see where Dad lived. I've always been curious about his life. Honey, going to Zimbabwe ain't like going to the beach. It's a long journey, and you never know what might happen. I've been looking for something to change my life. Maybe this is it. Did you try? 
try to find my dad? I, I tried. We keep the pit lit. I go down there every day, look for him. But it all seems so unlikely. I would have given anything to see him again. Ancestors or aliens known as Atlanteans don't laugh. They arrived on Earth with the idea of colonizing. The Atlanteans' giant spaceship served as their floating city. It sank into the bowels of the Earth during a volcanic catastrophe, destroying the spaceship. But perhaps not the Atlantean people. They might still live at the center of the earth.
Kansas. My glasses. trying to steal my claim. Because you're going to have to plug me first. <laughs> Looks easy to me. <laughs> One yank of the trigger and you die. Gotta do something. You can tell us where the vein is. Tell us where the main vein is. No. Tell us. No. <sighs> oh. You okay? Atlantis. 
day's ride. You're not gonna leave me here with these guys? <sighs> Look, I gotta bounce to the city to file my claim before somebody else tries to steal it. Thanks a lot for helping me out. Let's see you later. Hey, wait a minute! You owe me, don't you? I mean, I could have let them kill you, but I didn't, did I? No, I saved your life! I think you should at least take me to Atlantis. I mean, that's not asking a lot after all. Is it? Okay. Okay. Well, get in. Service world place called LA and you're here in Atlantis looking for your dad. <laughs> Sister, you're crazy. You think I'm lying? I think you believe it. I can't believe you'd think I'd actually make up a story like that. You live whatever dream you want. None of my business. <laughs> Okay, come on, baby. Every time you get a troll mechanic to work on your car, you're asking for trouble. Okay, what's that? Uh, I believe you only got an alien. What's that? What's wrong? Are we just gonna leave the car here? I don't wanna hear it. Stay if you like. Well, how far is it to Atlantis? Nothing ever goes right for me. Nothing ever works in my life. I strike it rich and Loki and Margo trying to steal is it my claim. It's weird, but I guess we're right. There are things like you and trolls living in the center of the jabbering? earth. No one in my world believes my dad. You see where I come from? What is that over there? What does it look like? It looks like an underground city. God. Is it always this dark and noisy here? I thought he was dead. Not hardly. Look, I struck it rich, boys. Get out of my way! Come on, come on, I gotta get to the climbs office to fire my climb, I gotta close! Wow! Yes. 
I got a call to make sure the place I got to find my claim is still open. Wait here. Okay. Wait. Whoa. I don't even know your name. Good Nedway. Wait. What? I want to sit near some. Okay. So what? Press. Put to rest rumors of a captured alien. Lord Over, speaking through his representative spokesman, denied all gossip. In other news today, many babies were suddenly born in Z Sector. Remember, citizens, any suspicious visitors to Atlanta should be reported to government house. Failure to incriminate is punishable by death. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance. stories about aliens every day. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Like little green Martians from outer space that landed. Aliens from where? Outer space. What's that? <gasps> oh, I forgot. You don't know what outer space is. You've lived underground all your life. It's sad, isn't it? I mean, not to have seen blue skies. The sun, the stars, and the beach. Lay off the surface world stuff. Why does everyone wear funny makeup and weird clothes? Would you come on? Malibu Beach? Always. This guy split without paying his bill. Left his clothes behind. Looks to me like you could use him. We talked to sources who claim to have seen you purchase the alien from a minor troll named Baz Bodine. How can there be witnesses to something that has never happened? What have you done with the troll named Baz Bodine, Council? Has he been flushed? I don't know any troll miner named Bars Bodine. I do not associate myself with trolls. What are you covering up, Constable? We have our sources. Then name them, Donaldson. You're changing the subject, Constable. Look, I'd like to assure everyone that, contrary to any rumors and gossip that may be circulating, we have not captured any alien beings from a purported surface world. There is simply not a grain of truth to the rumors. And that is all I'm prepared to say. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner engagement. Lying sack of crap. Approach. 
Arch has activated the Govco 1000 Total Facial and Follicle Do-Over Unit. Please stick your face into the mask provided, and the unit will attempt to improve your looks. Please step on pedal provided. The Velco 1000 has done all it can. Thank you. Step aside. Hey, you look really nice. Brought you something to wear. Looked to me like you needed it. Whoa. Bitchin. That's really nice of you. Couldn't stand wearing that dress another minute. Your dress is strange. I've never seen material like this before. What is it? Uh, it's new. Where are you from? Uh, <laughs> from out of town. It's dangerous for strangers in Atlantis these days. People get kidnapped. No one ever hears of them again. You should be careful. You're the type that would attract a lot of attention. Thanks, Royce. I'll be downstairs, if you need anything. Oh, Dad. Why would you want to come to a place like this? I gotta find you and get us out of here. You are an alien spy sent down by your world to prepare an invasion of Atlantis. There are three absolutes, Professor. I am the law here in Atlantis. You will confess the truth to me, and our worlds will go to war. I beg you to believe. You will confess, Professor. Look, uh... Wait outside. I need the Ector Ors. The other guy looked a lot better in his own clothes. Yeah. I feel like a worm broker. It's dangerous for strangers in Atlantis these days. People get kidnapped. No one ever knows. And up off the top. Hold still. Sorry about running out on our wedding. But I heard that old miner John about the ore he found. And I lost my head. Ah, oh, forget it. What's a year with no word? I know I hurt you. <gasps> no, you don't. Listen, I gotta wait until tomorrow to file my claim. So I figure I'll help you look for your dad. Gee, thanks, Gus. I'm only doing it so as I can get rid of you. You're a pain in the neck and you're cramping my style. Come on, let's get something to eat. You aliens eat, don't you? Yeah, I'm starving. Just swallow. Don't you? I gotta figure out a way to find you, Dad, and get you out. <laughs> Sit down. Bet you you've never been to a place like this before. Mm -hmm. Take your order now. How special. What do you want? Uh, make it two. Coming right down. Yes, 
on how to find my dad? Yeah, no. Not yet. I don't think too well on an empty stomach. Guys, things are really weird here. Not like the service world, huh? Right, the food's here. Yuck! You don't eat that, are you? I watch. Mmm. Delicious. My dad's a professor, Gus. And I bet he'd really like to study you. Hey! Think I know someone will help you out. You do? Yeah, stay put. I gotta use a phone. Oh, that's great, Gus. Creature Feature Friday. We hope you're enjoying Aliens from L.A. You know, this film is much like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, she's like Alice in Wonderland. She has funny shoes, and sometimes she wears a bow in her hair, and uh, she talks to rabbits, and sometimes they speak back to her as well. Anyways, uh, interesting thing about this film, uh, there was a apparent sequel that we showed uh, a few months back, uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, but it wasn't like the original it was the newer, like, remake. And uh, that was connected to this film in, in some manner. I, I don't know how, but uh, apparently the people who were making this film planned on doing that film and connecting them together. So that's why it's a center of the earth type film. Anyway, so we'll get back to the film in a moment. But first, a little business. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. It's, uh, no, it's important. You've got to tell them to subscribe because if, if, if you don't subscribe, then uh, YouTube's not going to like us anymore, are they? It's going to be a very sad day for us. So please subscribe. And then also, if you want to watch our show somewhere else, you can watch us on Creature Features TV, which is a, a wonderful, fairly new thing we've done. It's like Netflix by Creature Features. So the kind of films we show on Creature Features TV are quite different than what you might find on Netflix. They're definitely not as new. However, you'll see some real gems there. Plus, you get to watch all of our programs early and you can see all of our programs because we have the entire library there, except for a couple. There's a couple of films we don't have, but most of our episodes are there, so you might want to check that out. And lastly, Patreon, if you're one of those generous people who like to just throw money at things you like, like our show, hopefully, you can visit our Patreon page and uh, join up and become a member to do that. Enough said. Let's get back to the film. And uh, don't go away when the credits are over because we'll be here. And if you're not, that'll make her very sad. See you soon. I'd like the number for uh, Professor Ovid Galba, please. I can take you to your dad. <laughs> Come with me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, do you have a last known address? Paul. Welcome. Nina. The boss of bosses. Tonight, we have a lineup of matches. Satisfy your lust. Remember, anything goes. And only one walks out. Death is promised. Bookies will circulate 
Throughout the fight, for your betting pleasure. On my left, Smasher! Come on, On my right, Smasher! Now, let the fight begin! Shank. A girl? I can see that. I want to know why you have brought her here to me. To Mambino. To the boss of bosses. I overheard her talking, Mambino. She claims to be an... Speak, Shank. Who did the girl claim to be? An alien? <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> okay. I'll take her bones elsewhere. I never said I wasn't interested. I could always use another dark girl with big bones. She'll cost you 500 shiny ones. Pay her 400 shiny ones. 400 shiny ones. Don't push your luck, Shank. Ones. I'll tell you where she's hiding, Council. General Rykov. Yes? Hello, Crisis. You want us to arrest another alien? Sweetheart, 
showing some spunk. Big confidence from an alien who walks like a troll, dresses like a worm, and has a voice that gives everyone a headache. I like a voice, Mambino. <laughs> I thought you was dead. Oh, I'm back. Get lost, Edway. You never did anything for anyone. You're too selfish to be a hero. Yeah. Go on, move. Before I make you wish you stayed dead. Go.
Excuse me, madam. May I help you? Uh... Yeah. Sure. Perhaps madam would like to look at some troll leisure wear. Extra large, I think. It's so simple. What are you waiting for? Capture the big bone girl and you will be rich beyond possibility. Play lotto and win money. Shiny, bent, rusty one. Ah, uh, fun! Yes, it is. And here's how it works. Have you seen this female? She's got a big bone. How is bloody hell? There, you will receive your prize. Had a hell of a time finding you, Professor. Why'd you move to the pits? Why did you risk life and limb to find me? Well, Professor, done you a ton of favors, right? What about all those times I gave you? Valuable junk for free, because you was tapped out. Those favors were minute, insignificant, and microscopic. Oh, come on, Professor, give us a break. What about the time I came and bailed you out when your water wagon got repossessed? Okay, good thing you were more than a friend. Let's not get slushy here. And you ain't the fiber out. What do you want? You was kicked out of the university for yapping about that being a surface world, right? Aliens and stuff. Yes. Yes. Well, Professor, how'd you like to meet an alien? Oh, splendid shoes. Of course, it's very late. It's from Lumeria. And look, it almost fits. <laughs> but of course, on you, it looks absolutely smashing. Will there be anything else? I know. Oh, all right. Well, uh, rusty dull ones all charge. This is worth my Walkman and my diapers. Sky. Charming as in style, good looks, and panache. Look, I know you want me to sweep you off your feet, love you till I die, but I ain't got the time right now. 
I'm on my way to rob, you know, borrow some funds. And that guy back there has made me late. But I... Look, I know it's disappointing, but, uh, there'll be another time. Another place. Wait! What? I'm lost. Some people are after me. Could you please help me out? I know it's a lot to ask. I told you, I'm busy. Please? I'm really in trouble. Bad trouble. <laughs> It's only because I'm a sucker for big bone dolls and trouble now. Tell me your problems and I'll decide if I've got the time. Well, I started when I was ten years Wait old. A second. What? Is that really your voice? Come on. My brother was about to kill me, and then you showed up to save my life, Charmin. Crazy, that's that's an unbelievable story. What? The part about me being an alien from the surface world? No, that you've gone through all this for a guy like your father. I mean, he seems like a selfish pebble head who didn't care about anybody except himself. I used to think so. Oh, and now you like him. I think I understand him a little. Crazy. You know, it's still a lot to go through for someone who may not want to see you. It's crazy. You're a very unusual girl, Wanda. And I mean more than because your voice is so strange. Come on, the saloon's this way. Showed him, huh? Look, Wanda. I, I don't know if you're an alien or what, but I do believe you're here to find your father. Hey! <gasps> okay. For whatever reason, the city's out to get you, so you, you gotta get out of here before it's too late for even me to save you. Oh, you get going. I'll hold him off. But... It, it, it'll be easier with you gone. I might have to do something I don't want you to see. Like what, Charmin? Never mind. Roach's saloon is nearby. Just up that alley. Hide there and I'll, I'll meet you if I can. Will I ever see you again? You never know, Wanda. Another time, another place. Now go on, get out of here.
Bye, Charmin. surface world really exists. We gotta figure out a way to rescue Wanda first. Why do you have in mind, Good? Well, Professor, I know you've never done this kind of thing before. But are you up to it? What do you want me to do? Consul Crassus, that the aliens are here by accident. What do you suggest we do, Crassus? Since the aliens arrived here accidentally, Your Lordship, as you most shrewdly observed, I suggest we help them return to the surface world. Your pantios are on too tight, Crassus. I beg your pardon, Rykov. Let the aliens free. I, for one, do not want to be reclassified as a troll. We will release them only if they agree not to reveal our existence to their world, when no one else is to come down. We have no choice but to trust them. Trust aliens! Your Lordship, you cannot possibly listen to Crassus. You know he's got those odd tendencies. And we've all been discussing the fact that he dyes his hair. The General aside, Your Lordship, we are not murderers. We cannot let them die. Bring me the aliens. I'll first speak to Wanda, then decide whether to free them or terminate. <laughs> Your Lordship, this is the wonder. Come here, child. Look closer. So you are the wonder. Yes? I want a second son. Why are you here? Rykov has arrested your daughter, Professor Saknusum, and put her on trial. What's gonna happen to her? 
Lord Over is trying to decide whether to release you and your daughter. Or to terminate your lives. How does it look? I don't know. I'm in there. Oh, everything depends on wonder. I'm no explorer or adventurer, and I'm not here to hurt your world. I just want to find my dad, and that's why I'm here. And for no other reason, sir. Oh, please. I'm Wanda Sack Newsome. A waitress from L.A. who should have never come here. And I just really want to go home now. Hey! <clears throat> they are going to make brown-eyed trolls out of us! Oh, shut up, Rykoff. Daddy? I wanna. Yes, I am. Well, she's gone through a lot of trouble to find you. Stay cool. Why, Ricky is the way out. Why did you come looking for me, Wanda? Because you're my dad. Now, General, I'll direct you from here by remote. Good work, Tora. So, Crassus, I was right about the aliens being spies. Oh, just do your job, Rykov. Kill the girl and her father. I will. And then I'll come back for you. Unbelievable good, and you've actually made it. <laughs> Who is he? My dad? Get in, Wanda! General, the aliens are approaching the outskirts of the city. Stad exit 58. Intercept dead 5.34. Driver, head for the outskirts of the city. General's vehicle has turned for the outskirts, sir. Follow the general. Just don't lose her. Professor Sagnusum, I have to disagree with you. According to my data, the incline of the surface world has changed slightly, making the eastern regions the mouth of the center of the world. I don't doubt your knowledge, Professor, but I've spent my life studying and searching for the center of the Earth, and I obviously did find it, and it wasn't in this direction. Well, let me put it to you this way. I have all the equipment you need for your ascension to the surface of the world. It's either my way or no way. Dad? Do you think Professor Goldberg can get us back home? We'll see, honey. It's straight on ahead, good, and, and don't scratch my worm wagon. <coughs> Journey, I ain't going home. Come visit us. 
impression. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's magnificent, Professor. Ah, <laughs> thank you. According to my calculations, my rock climber would have blasted me right up to the surface. My God, why didn't you go? Ah, Rykov learned of my work and he shut me down. I was ruined and tossed out of the university. Oh. <laughs> I was thrown out of the university too, but I wouldn't let that stop me. Yes, yes. Some of us give up our dreams more easily than others, Professor. There's a difference, Professor, between giving up and leaving something unfinished. You know, I never finished anything in my life. It's about time I did. I want to go back to Aurora's. If she'll take me. She'll make you richer than any mine, Gus. Wanda. Time to go. No one's going anywhere. You blew the deal when you tried to escape. Now we have orders to execute you. I thought you wanted us to leave. I'm sorry, Professor. <laughs> you saw nothing. You better move out quickly, Professor. I think she's going to be a little upset when she wakes up. Don't you get into trouble for this? It's a small price to pay. Now move quickly. Hold on tight to one another. I love you, honey. Wanda? Wanda? You okay? Well, any pearl. I had this really weird dream that I went to Africa and fell down a bottomless pit to the center of the earth and I ended up in this city called Atlantis. I found Dad. Pretty weird, huh? Hi, honey. How you feeling? Oh, Daddy. It wasn't a dream. Dream come true. Is it true about Wanda? I heard she went to Africa. Actually took a plane and everything. Yeah, she actually took a plane and everything. Ah, I can't believe it. Nobody in Vista Verde can believe it, including me, including Susan, Susan Stacy. <laughs> Why not? It's just not like her. Are you sure this isn't some scam to get me back? Why don't you ask yourself?
up tonight and take you out, and you can tell me all about Africa. But Robbie, I still have the same hair, the same voice. Ah, it doesn't matter. You've changed. Yeah, I have. Mm. What happened to her in Africa? She grew up. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me out. I'm a stranger around here. From another time, another place. Crazy. citizens of Atlantis that there is no such thing as a surface world, and rumors of the actual existence of aliens are wrong, misleading, and counterproductive to the future of our great city-state. Anyone who thinks they may have had contact with an alien male or older male should report immediately to General Rykov at Government House. There is a reward. And finally, the statement stresses once and for all, aliens do not exist, the surface world does not exist, and Wanda Sacknussum is a mere figment of your imagination. Imagination. Nobody told us And that wraps up Alien from L.A. You know, her Prince Charming returns. That's kind of nice. Yeah, she had a Prince Charming once, but she decapitated him. Yeah, you should, you're like a praying mantis. You remove the heads of your potential suitors. Yeah, we get letters all the time from people saying, no, oh, I'd like to take Tangela on a date. And I was right back, no, you don't, because you, you, you still need your head until you die, right? I suppose if you're dead... Yeah, she likes dead people a bit too much, if you ask me. Anyways, uh, that's it for that film, and uh, that's it for us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We know you could have been watching some other program, but instead you stayed up late and watched Oz, and for that very reason, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow on the Saturday show, and we'll see you next week. Have a good rest of your weekend.